This video is sponsored by Vever. They sent me their commercial countertop dual electric deep fryer. Off the top, you know this product comes in handy for someone like me who loves deep frying, especially my chicken wings. This product allows you to diversify your cooking experience by cooking different types of food individually while maintaining distinct flavors. You can easily adjust temperature from 122 degrees Fahrenheit to 392 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if your oil reaches a temperature of 446 degrees Fahrenheit, the fry will automatically shut off the power. Now, that's what I like. Cleanup is simple and easy as all the components of this fryer are easy to lift out. This product is designed for your convenience with its cool touch handles and front hooks that makes it easy to hang for a quick oil change. This product is ideal for your small business, snack bars, concession stands, and much more. Now, are you ready to create mouth-watering meals? If so, I'm going to leave a link to this product in the video description below. That way you too can master the art of deep frying. Let's get back to cooking. Listen, you've seen the title in the thumbnail. No explanation needed for this one right here. Crispy honey garlic ribs. And we're going to make it with some fried crispy onion rings. Y'all ready? Get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, let's do a quick rundown of what we have. Right here we have some baby back ribs. I just cut them up in little smaller bites like this or like this one here. You can keep them whole if you want to. It's totally up to you. I like them when they're bite sized like this. Right here we have some flour, milk, rice wine vinegar, chopped garlic here, fish sauce, some minced garlic here, honey, cornstarch, baking powder, one egg, salt and pepper, and we have our onions right there. So these are the ingredients. Let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and create our marinade. Now guys, I forgot to tell you, we are gonna add some sugar. So we're gonna add our sugar to this bowl here, along with our rice vinegar, fish sauce, and our minced garlic. And we're just gonna give that a mix like that to kind of get them all, it all combined. All right, real quick, we're gonna sit this aside. We're gonna bring back over our ribs. So now we're gonna add a little kosher salt to our ribs, just a little bit, just to give it a little flavor. And we're gonna add some black pepper, just like that. Now we're gonna take our marinade, we're gonna add it to our ribs, just like that. We're gonna mix this baby up like this. And we're gonna sit this to marinate for about, about up to two hours in the refrigerator, and then we're gonna come right back. So let's go ahead and prepare our flour for our onion rings. We're gonna add some seasoned salt in our black pepper here, the baking powder, and we're just gonna give this good mix like this, just like that. Real quick, we're gonna set this aside, we'll come right back. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up our oil to about 350 degrees. Now that our oil is heated up, we're gonna take our minced garlic or our chopped garlic, and we're gonna add this to our pan. We're gonna let this cook for a few minutes. Make sure you turn your heat down a little bit. You don't want to actually burn your garlic too much, but you do want it crisp. All right, guys, so we're about five minutes in. We're going to turn off our heat. We're going to remove our garlic and we're going to sit it aside. All right, let's continue. All right, so we've let our ribs marinate for about two hours. Now we're going to take our cornstarch and we're just going to add it here to our ribs. And this is gonna give us that thin layer of coating that make these babies crisp. And we're just gonna go in with our hands and we're gonna get this mixed up. That's what we have. We're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna head over to our onion rings and we're gonna start getting those babies battered up. All right, so now let's go ahead and start preparing the breading for our onions. We're gonna take our onions and we're just going to toss it here in the flour like this. Just a thin coating, add it here. We'll do another one for you, just like that. And we're gonna add that to our rack. So let me do the rest of them and we're gonna come right back. Now that we floured out our onion rings, we're gonna take this leftover flour here. We're gonna add our egg here to it, along with our milk. And we're just going to whip this up into a mix or a batter, however you wanna call it, like this. All right, that's what we have. Now let's continue. Now I did mention our breadcrumbs in our ingredients list, but we're gonna use breadcrumb. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your floured onion ring, pop it in this batter like this, shake off that excess, 
and we're gonna pop it in these breadcrumbs like this. And we're gonna rest that back over here on our rack, just like that, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. You don't need to see another one. You saw how I did it, and we're gonna come back once I get them all floured and battered. All right, so now we have all our onion rings dredged and battered up in our breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna go over to our deep fryer because now it's time to do some cooking. All right, so I, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it is being sponsored by Vever. They sent me their dual commercial electric deep fry. That is what we're using for today's recipe. And I'm gonna tell you, I like this because I can cook my onion rings in one side and I can fry my ribs in one side or I can have my wings in one side and I can have my fries on the other side. This is perfect for what I do. So let's go ahead and get this baby started up. First thing we do, is gonna add some oil to our fryer. And guys, I'm gonna add the remaining of that oil from our garlic. That way we can have that garlic flavor or that garlic infused oil to cook our ribs. So that's definitely gonna help us out to intensify that flavor. And we're gonna just add more of that oil here. So this baby is easy to operate. Your temperature controls here, they have it in Celsius and they have it in Fahrenheit. So we're going to turn this over to, uh, move it over to 350 degrees. I am a Fahrenheit person. I don't understand Celsius and I ain't trying to learn, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and get that baby heated up. It's gonna let you know when that baby ready, all right? Looks like our light went off, so that means it's ready, it's all green. I'm gonna take that as a cue and we're going to start adding our ribs. And we're gonna cook these for about four to six minutes. All right, so it looks like we're good on our first batch. Guys, take a look at that. Look how crispy them babies are. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in a warming rack, and then we're gonna come back and drop the remaining of our ribs. All right, so we're on our last batch of our ribs. So I'm just gonna sit them right here, transfer them over to the warmer. So we're gonna move over to our onion rings. All right, let's start getting our onion rings in here. And guys, we're gonna cook these for about one and a half to two minutes. You know, cook them in batches if you have to. All right, guys, we are done. Look at those onion rings, man. So we're gonna go ahead and put them on a warmer rack and we're gonna finish the remaining of our onion rings, all right? All right, so we're finishing up our last batch of onion rings. We're gonna head over to our cutting board so we can get into our final presentation, all right? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add our ribs here to a bowl, just like that. We're gonna take our honey and we're just gonna pour over our ribs, just like that. We're gonna take a spoon and we're just going to mix that around just like this. Or you could toss it, whatever one you wanna do. I'm gonna get that mixed in here like that. Just like that, guys. Next, we're gonna take our crispy garlic and we're just gonna add it to our Again, we're gonna get at a good mix. All right, so let's get this baby plated up to get into our final presentation and quality control. There you have it guys, fried onion rings and crispy garlic ribs. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's jump into quality control. Man, y'all know that looking good right there. All right, let's go. All right, it's quality control time and I got a big plate of groceries here, man. Let's bring it to the front of the congregation. 
Look at that big plate of groceries right there, man. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to start out with this onion ring right here. Let's check this onion ring out. Mmm. You already hear the crunch? Mmm. Mmm. I'm a big onion ring fan. Can't go wrong with the onion ring. Let's try these ribs out. Oh, my God. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a meal right here, baby. Definitely need to check this out. Don't forget, check the link in the video description below. I got that Vever Dual Commercial Electric Deep Out Fry. Guys, you're going to love it. Listen, you can cook your wings and your fries all together at the same time. And you can also do what I did, cook these ribs and the onion rings at the same time while you're making this recipe. So until then, y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything. And remember, not chef, but just cook a lot. And I'm out. Peace.